I left to the top in the city Working for the man every night and day The band is called Metal Stiletto. It's a, a project that morphed out of uh, uh, Cat Wells' uh, Janice tribute show. And now we have uh, four acts presently. So we figured the metal part is for the rock and the stiletto is for the feminine. So we put those together. It seems to be being very well received. The project started about two years ago, but the current band um, really is, we've only been gelling for about, I don't know, about a month or so. So <laughs> half the members are quite new. We've got uh, Janis Joplin is still in the set. She's a hit with, with lots of people. We've got uh, Alanis Morissette, who's out of Toronto, a good Canadian girl that we're, that we're emulating, and Tina Turner, and Pat Benatar is the other one, good American rocker. So it's a tribute to the, to the rockers, and we changed the name because it's more than Janice, so it's now Metal Stiletto. There's three lead singers right now. There's Cat Wells, and she does she does Janice and, and Tina Turner, and there's Vicki Nish, and she does uh, Alanis Morissette and Pat Benatar. And new to the band is uh, Vicki Martinez, and she's wonderful. She does a Sarah McLaughlin thing, uh, and wonderful backups. Then we have a five-piece band backing that up, drums, two guitars, keyboard synth, and a wonderful bass player out of Summerland. <laughs> I've been doing uh, singing as Janis Joplin for quite a few years, and I've been emulating voices all my life. I started with Billie Holiday when I was 14 years old, and you know, Im imitating my grandmother from the old country, you know. And I just always wanted to do uh, a group project with other female vocalists. I love working with other female vocalists, so I thought about nobody's really paying homage to uh, the women rockers like say from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and even 90s. Thursday night, October the 26th, Vernon Performing Arts Theater, wonderful 750 seat uh, soft seat theater. And we're really excited about having it there because the sound in there is so spectacular. $39.50 a ticket, so it's a, it's a fair price for a really good show these girls can sing. Yeah.